All right, good morning. We're gonna do another basic MRI. This time we're going to do a femur. So once again, let's put this volunteer on the scheduler. So we're gonna go to patient, schedule. Uh, schedule is already um, highlighted. So we're gonna go here, patient registration. So remember, you must put something where it's, where it's bolded. See this here? So we're gonna put last name, basic. We're gonna put our body part, femur. Oop, as their name, patient ID. Put BF one two three four and date of birth one one nineteen eighty four. It's gonna be a female. Weight we're gonna do one forty. All right, and we have to pick a study. So um, every facility is different. Some will have knee, ankle, you know. Here they have it under lower extremity. You just click the plus sign and you got femur and tiffit. We're doing a femur. Patient position. So we're going feet first, supine. There you go. And then exam. It's going to just give you a little quick rundown of what you typed in. Basic femur. Good. Exam. And then X out of this. All right, so like I said last time, every facility is gonna have different protocols, okay? So this facility has these. We are going to do a right. So we're gonna do right routine. And remember, you can just click on the study, right? And if you click this guy here, it will drag everything on the card. Or you can just um select what you want okay and then you can drag it um but i just like to keep it simple just like that all right now this localizer doesn't start um automatically you see we have to set it up whenever you see the shovel i call it a shovel you have to set it up so I opened it by double click or you can just click on it and hit open. A lot of ways to do things. And then we're going to go to system and just make sure our coils are turned on. I put a body coil and then this is the table. So we're going to hit apply. We'll let that run. All right. This is just telling you, once again, making sure everything's correct, okay? This mostly happens when, when a patient has more than one study. All right. All right. So here's our localizer, scout, whatever you guys want to call it. All right. Make sure we got everything here. If... You want to center this a little bit more better, you can. Because it's losing signal up here, as you see. But we'll move it down here a little bit here. Can even cut down some slices. Because remember, if you're able to do joint to joint, that's the best. If you can't get joint to joint, just make sure you get one, okay? Now, here, our face duration is anterior, posterior. You can see here the arrow. So, here's the back. We want to move this closer. All right, 
let's make this bigger just so we can have more space and no overlapping you know you saw how that got bigger by just moving five here all right so there's joint one joint two so we got everything all right let's run it and apply so remember the next number three should open up once this starts without me double clicking or hitting open see that I just opened by itself all right so we're running a axial this next one here is an axial so we can copy it okay um, our last axial was also anterior posterior so we're gonna just go ahead and right click copy slices okay And if you remember, we changed the field of view here. If you forgot to what you changed it to, just double click on the one that's running. And there you see it. 270, that's 270, so we didn't change that one. Uh, we changed this one. This is 79, so we're going to go to 85. 85.9, that's okay. Let's close this tab here. Alright, and then there you go. It's gonna same as the last one. And then we can cut down our TR to 3940. So let's do that. So we can cut time 3940. Alright, and hit enter. You can hit enter or you can click anywhere else and it'll it'll adjust. Alright. Once you're set, you hit apply. We're not going to run another axial since we're just learning how to set up um, the femur. So we're just going to drag it down. All right. Or we can delete it. It doesn't matter. There you go. All right. So now let's set up a coronal. Now, you you can wait for an axial or you can just set it up. The goal is just make sure you get, once again, joint to joint. And the muscles, um, that's the main goal here, okay? You really don't want to get all the tissue, you know. So here you go, joint, joint, we can actually drop it down a little bit more. Pretty good. Good. All right. So it didn't populate here. So let's throw it in this box here, and then we can also throw it here. All right. Nice. Okay. It looks like we got everything. Going back up here. Got the joint. That looks good. So you see here, we could have moved up the coil and we would have not had this artifact there. I put the coil maybe a little too low, but it's good. All right. So, it looks like we got everything. Nice. Okay, can actually angle. Okay. And apply. So, this one opens. This is coronal. The one that's running right now is a coronal as well. So we cannot copy it from an axial, right? So we can only copy it from a coronal. Everything is the same, face direction and everything. But if you remember, we changed a field of view. Remember, we can double click on the one that's running or that we copy from. And I'll give you their card here 
450. Ah, uh, there it is, 450. close. Let's check the TR. Okay. And apply. Alright. Now let's set up for a sagittal. All right. So once again you can double click and it opens the tab. Or you can just highlight it and hit open. Or just wait until this chrome is over. I mean starts and then it'll open up. All right, since we have an axle here, we'll, that will help us set up, okay? Now, most likely, when you change the field of view on a coronal, you can get away with changing it with the sagittal and vice versa. So we're gonna move this to 450, enter. All right, and let's go through this here. Once again, we just want to get all the muscles and bones. Bone. All right. So here's the Simpsons Pewis. I like to get the opposite side as well. All right. Just on the break there. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. We got joint, joint. We can even bring it down just a bit because remember the coil is pretty low. Right. Okay, let's check our TR. It's good. All right. And face direction is anterior posterior. So we know we're not going to get this overlapping. On the coronal, we would have because the coronal is right to left. That's why the sampling, the uh, face over sampling <clears throat> was at a hundred. Here is at zero because it's moving anterior posterior. We have enough space. Okay. And you can see here that it doesn't go over. But maybe we can move it a little bit higher. Now, this corona is running, but we're saving time. So I'm going to stop it, all right? Let's just pretend the patient pressed the alarm. We're going to stop it, all right? And then we're, we're done talking with the patient. Patient's okay. She just had a scratch or something. So we're going to hit apply to run the sagittal here. All right, I'll apply. And the scanner the scanner starts now let's just say we want to start this again right unfortunately we have to start all over okay we just I just uh, left clicked and hold and, and dropped it all the way down all right and you see it opens the next sagittal same thing we're gonna copy from a sagittal not from an axial or not from a coronal so right click copy parameter slices okay all right and remember i think we we changed the field of view to 450 but let's double check so we're going to open this sagittal that we copied off from yep 450 so we're going to change that to 450. all right close let's check our tr all right and apply all right and we don't need this coronal. We already ran it. I'm just trying to save time. This is just, you know, we're just learning how to set up. So we can delete that. We're not going to run this sagittal because we're running that one. All right. So I'm going to delete that one. All right. And we're just going to wait a minute and 40 more seconds. So we want to pull the patient out. Close that and patient, close patient. There you have it, basic femur.